We are glad to share our new review recently published in the Journal of Extracellular Vesicles and the Circulating Nucleic Acids. The title is New Insights of Engineering Plant Exosome-like Nanovesicles as a Nanoplatform for Therapeutics and Drug Delivery. This review was prepared by the International Corporation from Shenzhen Second People's Hospital, Shenzhen Kanin Hospital, the Chinese University of Hong Kong, and the Queensland University of Technology. We would like to thank the funding supported by National Natural Science Foundation of China and the Guangdong International Cooperation Project. Plant exosome-like nanoparticles are nanoscale particles released from various plants. They are formed by involved budding of the cell membrane and are produced by NVBS, also called the late endosomes. The membrane of NVBS expands inwardly to fuse with the plasma membrane to release their intraluminar vesicles into the extracellular space, like animal exosomes. Plant exosome-like nanovesicles can be uptaken by recipient cells, veil, exomer fusion, endocytosis, and phagocytosis to transfer content. For re-engineering plant exosome-like nanovesicles as nanoscale therapeutics, we can use chemical modification, genetic engineering, and hybrid membrane engineering. As an emerging nanoplatform, plant exosome-like nanovesicles are used in the fields of transmembrane transport, target delivery, and gene delivery. Recently, their delivery capacity highlights their potential for application in the delivery of therapeutic drugs. We listed some studies on using plant exosome-like nanovesicles as a drug delivery nanoplatform in the table. As exosome-like nanoparticles derived from plants are often rich in various biologically active lipids, proteins, RNAs, and other components, and are natural nanopreparations, which have been proved to have significantly regulatory effects in tumors, immune regulation, intestinal disease, and regenerative medicine. Plant Exosome-like nanovesicles can deliver therapeutic reagents, sRNAs, and proteins to diverse cell types or in vivo animal models, which could create a broad application perspective. Thank you.